History awaits Baco Hecken. A first appearance in the Champions League quarterfinals since 2013 beckons if they can manage one more win tonight in this captivating campaign. Kicking off the, the earlier part of the evening, by the way, but here comes Larissi. Up against Tenan Soon Sissoko. Well, she crossed it into the hands of the defender. Has it gone dead? Well, that's what Parry will claim for. But Sissoko is not at all happy, and I think this has been given as a penalty. Well, Larissi was taking it right up to the byline. It's hard to tell from that angle whether it went out or not. It's certainly been caught by the defender. The 20-year-old with a side's destiny in her hands. Saved by Jamaica Nadozia. And the goal putting it back in. And what a moment that might just turn out to be. Regret on the face of Rosa Kafaji. Well, it was a slow run-up. The stutter might not have helped, but Jamaica Nadozier got down low and confidently pushed it away. It was a mistake by Vic to allow Clara Mateo to keep that ball in play. His teammate sent back for Corbo. Across the face of goal and wide. Elsewhere in the Champions League, by the way, Roma have taken the lead against Bayern, which puts Roma top of uh, Group C. Bayern bottom. Now, nobody can qualify directly from that group this week. Here comes Gaetan Cine. Testing the gloves of Fant for the first time. They take more than that. There's a bit of pressure on Luke. Faji with the turn. Spreading it through the middle, and look at this, it's Monica Yusubar away from Swaye. Yusubar off the frame of the goal. And giving Bako Heck in the lead. She got away from Swaye, and the veteran defender was straining every muscle to get back. Just did enough to put her off, perhaps. What a moment this would have been for the 20-year-old. Ball back to D4 was loose. Sola trying to get it away. Kamart's been dispossessed. It's Corbo, Rivadera, Mateo over the bar. And Hecken nearly made to pay for Lax defending. Here comes Corbo. That's gone all the way through to Luna Rivadera. They're calling for the flag. It's not come and it's forced behind by Yusufina Rebrick. Risky game plan by Hecken. Almost stopping and staring as Luna Ribadera went through. Might she be the target for this ball? Away by Rebrink again. This is so cool. Now Swaye kept herself on side. Lemuel got the cross in and it was turned into the outside netting by Aldersin. Up from defence. Doesn't mind the rangey run forward. But we go on at 0-0. Lost Elsa Sorensen, she's run into trouble. It's Tine if she can get away from Kumar. But the captain stood strong for Baker Hecken. Here's Anvergord. Going forward looking for Clarissa Larissi, but again Nadozier is there. Tine with the turn. Turn straight into Rebrink. Here comes Kafaji. Looking for Larissi. And a brilliant block by Julie Suaye. And for once, Gemma Canadozia isn't needed in goal. Well, Larissi took the option to take it wide. But a mess of Paris FC's own making. Uncharacteristically sloppy from Tine. Kafaji with her eye up, looking for the Canadian. Waited and waited to try and get the shot away. But that's the experience of Suaye coming to... That and Monica Yusuba rattling the base of the post. Two brilliant chances for the home side in the first half. Here comes up against Swayet. She's going for the shot here. And it takes the very best of Nadozi here to keep it out. And something more for them to cheer about. Can they sing their side on to victory? That one was always ending in the hands of Nadozi. 
is calmly away by Lurik into Yusuba. Ball was under hit, only found Sissoko. It's up by Rivadera. And forward to Gaetantini. And a big save from Yennefer Fapp to keep it at 0 0. She'll have the chance to make amends from the corner kick. Oh! Defensive header is a good one. Oh! Kimba Lewell, it's gone all the way through. Mateo. Oh! How did she miss the target? Rivadera. Looks like she might be heading out as well. We've certainly seen the end for Corpo. On comes Kaya Koroshek in central midfield for her. And a French debut in October against Norway in the Nations League. She enters with the team on the front foot here, but Tini is going to go for goal. And it was straight down the throat of Yennefer Fau. A big throw of the dice from Sandrina Subiron. It hasn't changed the shape from Paris FC. Here's Kafaji, excellent control. They will look back and rue the chances they missed in the first half. Here comes Clara Matteo. She's got a head up with a bit of return ball, it might fall to Gaetantini! Oh, brilliant save, Falk! And it's whipped away by Ribri. Won that by Kafaji. Tips were special about that to move away from Lemuel. And she's trying to stretch the play here with Amber Gord. Looking for Larissi, Larissi might be in here! But Nadozier is there again, and I think the flag was up anyway. And Nadozier is hurt, having put her body on the line again. That's gone over the head of Vick. Dongle looked favourite for that. She careers into Hannah Vick. Referee's going to let this play. Bordieu. Gaetantini. Soye with the cross. They're all queuing up for it to be hit, and it's put over the bar by Louise Fleury. Run back by Kumar. Here comes Kafaji. It's still Kafaji. Come, should be the one to win it. Brilliant save. Here's the follow-up from Grant and a save again. And Swaye clears for Paris FC. Drama in added time. Heckin fighting, trying to get through to the quarters. It's Ruby Grant. It might fall again, Bayman Lundin bearing down on goal, but again, a ban... Dog our way, only just, it's Grant, getting a header, finding Kosola. Kavaji wants it, one two wasn't slick enough, Busi. Lunging challenge from Rebrink, but it's won the ball back, Kosola. and now Grant, Rebrink wants it. Everybody looks out on their feet. Kafaji towards Anvigor. Couldn't get any power behind the shot, and maybe there goes the final chance for Baker Hecken. What a game it has been. And the excitement for these two teams looks set to continue into the final round of games. Unless there's a late twist in the tail. Rebrink is cleaned out there by Kessie Abusi. Is there going to be time for the free kick? No, there isn't. Well, there's a bit of concern for Yusufina Rebrink at the end of a full-bodied, full-blooded contest. Baker Hecken passing up the opportunity to book their spot in the last eight of the competition.